Even though 2020 was the toughest year for Hollywood, it has managed to bounce back in spectacular fashion in 2021, especially with the release of these 10 best 2021 TV series to watch now. You'll want to stick around to the end to see which show may have just given us one of the most diabolical TV drug dealers. BMF stars. But there's a difference between Tough Skins and Levi's. A difference between French dressing or, or mayo mixed with ketchup dressing. People are gonna get high regardless. If somebody's gonna get paid, it might as well be me and Meech. It has come to the point where anything 50 Cent produces is bound to be a hit, just like his new series, BMF. This star's hit show tells the story of how Demetrius Meech Flannery and his brother Terry evolved from local street hustlers in Detroit to dominating the city's drug trade in the late 1980s which eventually led to the creation of the global hip-hop label Powerhouse, known as the Black Mafia Family, before the 2005 FBI bust. Set up to be told periodically, we see it in the first season how the two brothers get involved in the game at a young age, the friction it begins to have on their Christian, hard-working family, and how the two had to deal with Lamar, a recently released from Psych Ward gangster wanting his old territory back. Hey, you can't stop the rain. Get the rain. When the Even if you are not familiar with the history of BMF, we guarantee you will binge the whole first season, especially if you are a fan of Snowfall. We also have to give major credit to Demetrius Jr., aka Lil Meech, for doing a phenomenal job portraying his father, Big Meech. Invincible Prime Video. You should have stayed dead. Invincible may have been hands down one of the most shockingly violent shows ever created, which is exactly what audiences wanted. Aside from the gore, the show does a great job of following Mark Grayson's journey from wanting to be a hero like his father Omni-Man, the world's strongest hero, to becoming one after manifesting his powers. He quickly comes to the realization that being a hero, especially a Vultramite, comes with expectations that Mark was clearly not ready to handle. <laughs> As bad as Season 1 was for the Heroes of Earth, it is sure to become a lot worse in Season 2 with the arrival of more Vultramites like Conquest and Thrag. Dr. Death – Peacock A true story-based miniseries about Dr. Christopher Dunch, a surgeon who made all of our nightmares come true of a doctor purposefully maiming you while in surgery. Based in Texas, Dunch was sentenced to life in prison after deliberately maiming or even killing 40 patients of his who went in for what was to be a very routine operation. It's like he knew what he was supposed to do. Then he did the exact opposite. While the show does follow the two physicians who managed to bring Dunch to justice, it also shows the failures of the medical institution and how they not just protected Dunch but also even enabled him to continue performing surgeries. The A-list cast that includes Christian Slater, Alec Baldwin, and Anna Sophia Robb were amazing as usual, but the performance of Joshua Jackson as the cold, arrogant, yet charismatic Dr. Dunch is what made this show one of 2021's best. Mayor of Easttown, HBO Max Kate Winslet continues to prove her acting brilliance, this time in what many people call her overall best performance, to play Detective Mayor Sheehan. Still grief-stricken by her son's recent suicide and having to deal with a custody battle for her grandson, Mare must investigate the brutal murder of a teenage girl that may have a connection to her ex-husband. He knew Aaron McMenamin when he told me he didn't. And there's a rumor he's the father of her baby. What the f is... So what's the truth? Huh? Even though it's a whodunit crime series that will leave you shocked when it's revealed who the killer is, it also highlights the painstaking process of healing after dealing with grief. What many people describe as a seven-episode slow burn is anything but, as we see Mare run into more than just one life or death situation. Succession, HBO Max. 
Succession may just be one of the handful of shows that make you question whether or not having the amount of wealth the Roys have would actually make your life better. Season 3 continued to see each of the Roy siblings scheme their way into taking the succession role from their temperamental and cutthroat father, Logan, whose health is declining. Like the previous two seasons, we see the satirical comedy and scorching family insults. You're a prick. He's like a sex robot for dad to He's like an old beaten dog. Well, he's both of those things and also a piece of sh that made this the most addictive show currently running. However, unlike the previous seasons, the rivalry between the siblings reached a dark breaking point. There's no more kids. There's a line now, no line for him, no line for you, but there's a line for me. You're a bunch of stuck up who can't fucking bear to see me win. That's it. That's all this is. The season three finale even managed to match the bar the show set for itself when it comes to extraordinary season finales. Time, Prime Video. As if any one of us needed more of a reason to stay out of prison. Show of hands, how many people ever raped a man? Uh-huh. How many people ever been raped by a man? All of us, 100%. You can't get no higher than You step in, you get raped right up the this British series will certainly add to it. It tells the story of new inmate Mark Compton as he must find a way to survive his four-year prison sentence after killing someone while driving drunk, and of prison officer Eric McNally, who must decide between saving his imprisoned son from harm or continue upholding the law. Mark serves as a conduit for the viewers as we get a realistic glimpse of what actually happens in prison, who actually runs it. Father swear to yeah. And all the failings of the correctional system. Although the first episode may be hard to watch due to the graphic nature, overall the series is a great reminder of how drastically one's life can change from just one bad decision. Only Murders in the Building Hulu. This comedy mystery series, which includes Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez, is a great change of pace from the previous entry. The three play true crime sleuths who team up to solve the real murder mystery that happened in their apartment building. We are part of a concern mm -hmm. that has reason to believe Tim Kono was murdered by the Demas family. The deli people? Delis, but also crime. Based on the evidence we found on Tim. They even end up creating a popular podcast while solving the case that generates them a massive following, which could come in handy, especially in season two. Watching the clash of times between Gomez's character Mabel and her two other partners brought the hilarity we expected to see, especially with Steve. I know that you know that I know what it's like to be famous. Strangers mm -hmm. think they have a right to know our business. But they never know the real us, and it's isolating. It can make us act poorly. Even though you may figure out who the killer is before the reveal, you will still be highly invested in the show. It's a Sin, HBO Max. Be prepared to shed a tear or two while watching what may be the most tragic series of all 2021. It shows the life of three young men in Britain during the 1980s, who after finally embracing their homosexuality, must now deal with the AIDS epidemic. They think it's this virus, AIDS. There are boys dying all over the world from sex. Don't be ridiculous, that would be all over the news. What starts out as a feel-good story about young gay men finally finding their community and sexual liberation turns devastating as we see many of the characters' lives and dreams get cut short due to AIDS. Whether hetero or homosexual, you will definitely relate to the characters' feelings of loneliness and isolation due to the virus, especially after what we all went through in 2020. It may be a short series with only five episodes, but the show will certainly manage to still leave a lasting impact. Hacks HBO Max By continuing to star in hits like Watchmen, Mayor of Easttown, and now Hacks, HBO Max should give Jean Smart a lifetime contract for any role she wishes to play. Smart stars as legendary Las Vegas comic Deborah Vance, who is forced to work with a young outcast and entitled young writer in Ava. What exactly do people think millennials are entitled to? Expensive ass healthcare? The planet ruined by ignoring climate change? Yeah, the only thing millennials are entitled to is our future grandchildren running around the desert hellscape sucking shriveled for water. Due to her shows being potentially cut for new acts, 
The driving force behind their hilarious love-hate relationship is the generational conflict towards comedy, with Ava worrying more about a joke offending a group of people, and Deborah who believes comedy is nothing more than just jokes. If you start a sentence with, it's funny because, it is probably not. And second, jokes need a punchline. Well, in my opinion, traditional joke structure is very male. It's so focused on the ending, it's all about the climax. Hacks even does a great job of showing the painstaking process that comedians go through when it comes to crafting jokes for their comedy, which is easily one of the hardest forms of entertainment. Power Book 3 – Raising Kanan – Stars Power became a global sensation during its run on stars mainly due to characters like Kanan Stark. Played by 50 Cent, we saw Kanan as a cold-blooded drug dealer who was feared throughout the streets of New York. No, 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 please! Please! <laughs> However, in the third installment of the Power series, we see a young and extremely inexperienced Kanan in the 1990s trying to get into the drug game with his mother, Raquel. It's bigger than us. I can't do this no more. I'm not doing it. I'm done. Nah, ain't nobody ever done You in, you always in. You threatening me? I never threaten you. Just like I ain't never gonna let you walk away. Raquel is one of Queen's biggest, most diabolical, and only woman drug dealers that wants to continue to expand her empire while trying to keep Kanan's attention on academics. The show also finally gives Jukebox more of a backstory that was just, if not more, captivating than Kanan's. Watching how both Kanan and Juke became the ruthless killers that we know from Power came to be makes a lot more sense after watching the show. Do you agree with our choices? Let us know down in the comments. Check out the best 2021 Netflix TV shows video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when a new video is posted to the channel.